hey guys welcome back to the channel guys i was contemplating if i should do a voiceover for this video or I should just let you guys enjoy because this video i didn't really say much i did more of the doing <laughs> if that's the word yeah it's december and this is the last month of the year we are grateful for so many things we thank God for things that worked and things that did not work. Next year we go again and I think life is the ultimate regardless of the goals you have set for yourself and your visions for the year. We thank God that we have life to rerun for another year, to re-strategize, to just see to it until our goals become a reality guys i've been on my natural hair for one year and using clove and rosemary water has really helped because my hair it used to be really scanty and ever since i started using clove and rosemary water it gave my hair volume and yeah so this routine is one of the simplest you will find. Uh, just be using the Mega Growth um, shampoo, and then and then I'll just go in with my hair mayonnaise. I do not really use this hair mayonnaise like frequently. I used it to revamp my wig, and I just read through the contents and I saw that you could actually use it for your natural hair. So this is actually my first time trying out the hair mayonnaise. So after the hair mayonnaise, I'll just go in with my leave-in conditioner. But in this video, you will see me washing off the leave-in conditioner, and that is because my hair had like a lot of lather that needed to go out. So that was why I washed it off. But afterwards, I went ahead to still reapply the leave-in conditioner, but. I couldn't film it because of low storage. 2023 taught me five major lessons and one of the lessons is just be you. Don't try to be anybody. Don't try to impress anybody. Just be you. And the second thing 2023 taught me is <laughs> you have to be prepared for every phase in your life because <laughs> nothing will last forever just be prepared and be the fighter that you have always been even in those days that you have to you had to blue zone then in those not so good days you also have to take with you that blue zone and just fight fight through it don't let your situations weigh you down or bring out the beast in you just fight 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 with peace fight with the need for you to survive fight with the need for you to move on to another stage without you losing your light and then the third thing 2023 taught me was that is that <laughs> because of course we are still in 2023 Everybody's not for you, right? You would lose friends at the end of the day. You realize that you don't need so many friends to survive. You don't need so many friends to to be who you are. Hey guys, hey my people, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my vlog, guys. I wasn't able to speak to you guys yesterday. That was because space the last thing you guys saw was me washing my hair and i wanted that to be like a washing routine kind of video but i wasn't able to get a full clip but anyways i'm still going to post like that space is one major issue i'm having guys space ah lord i need a new phone <laughs> there's nothing god cannot do anyways guys I have a wedding cake this week, so this week is going to be a very, very busy week for me, like 
very very busy and i mean it i have a wedding for sunday yeah it's a sunday wedding so i have to start baking <clears throat> start baking tomorrow guys i bring coffee the dust is crazy so i don't know if that's why i've been feeling weak kind of a call from jumia that they're about, they're about to deliver what i ordered you guys will see okay calm down don't be too fast okay so yeah he said it's close to the house i told him to be fast because i, I was about leaving going to the market and it's the only reason why i will be waiting so they also are delivered monday and this is wednesday so yeah why the delays well it's one of those things shy in business anything can happen <sighs> guys i want to make zubu today because of course my girl is coming tomorrow to assist me trying to be patient and run it at a time no Guys, guys, I'm back from the market. Oh my god, I'm so tired and exhausted. Um, I want to start making the zobo, so I think I'll show you guys some part of it how I want to make it because this is not a tutorial video, so this is just me trying to do my thing. Yeah, let me show you guys what I'll be using for. So guys, I'll be using my abiscus leaf, which is popularly known as zobo, and then my pineapple. I want to use um, cucumber. So and I'll also be using cinnamon and some ginger. Yeah. Um, basically going to be using the back peel of this and try to extract the juice from the main pineapple and i'll also be blending this too you can choose to use it like this or peel off the back but for me i want to peel off the back while i extract the juice from it too using this particular tiny abiscus is because it has more juice yeah, I think that's what I'll say. It has more juice. So when you are getting a biscuit, try and get the smaller, the tiny, tiny ones. So right now, I just want to, let me show you guys. I washed that, so I'm just going to add on it over here. Can you see? Can you see? So guys, I'll be using vinegar to wash my fruit to get rid of germs. the zobo to smell nice i think it's ready boiling for like 15 to 20 minutes now you don't want to boil all the meat presents away let me show you guys
Can you see how thick our zuku is? With my sieve, okay. I don't have a cheese clean, so I'm just going to be using normal sieve, by you know. So, and after that, I'll see this. Thanks to the light, oh my god. What are you grateful to God for? Like, it's smelling Christmas already. <sighs> Thank God I was able to blend the fruits before they took the light. So, I'll see you guys later. Later, later, later. I have to leave here because it's going to be very hot. Okay. Hey guys. Good morning, guys. Just received the sad news. My grandma. We lost my grandma this morning. So, Mom C has been the one like taking care of her. And her. So they were in the hospital. This morning she died, and tomorrow was supposed to be my sister's birthday. So I want to wait now and go to the family house. I'm feeling numb. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Yeah, it's him. So I don't know how I would, how I would do the birthday wedding cake I have. I shouldn't even be thinking of that, but I was supposed to start today. So, 